Hey, Corey. Can you see me okay, or is it fuzzy? It looks kind of fuzzy on my end. Can y'all see me okay? Hello there. I feel like I've been on Blab all day talking to all sorts of different people. Are y'all on Blab yet? Because it is really, really fun, and if you get there, you'll be there for hours. Absolutely hours. Hello. I was a couple minutes early. I wanted to get on and get introduced and get going because I'm sure a bunch of people are on their way home or going to pick up the kids or going to pick up dinner or whatever. It does look cloudy. Um, I don't know. You think it's my camera? You think I have makeup on the camera? Is that better at all? Maybe the lighting? Is that better, Corey? Just a little bit better? I'm going to blame it on the lights in here. When I planned this, it was 4 o'clock and I had all sorts of light coming in through this gorgeous window that I have in my office. And now it's dark. So, I'm sorry. Um, we'll do better. Y'all know I like to periscope in the mornings because the light is usually better. Um, but when I started periscoping, it was summer and the light was great all the time. So, we'll get it figured out. Thank you. Okay. My name is Whitney Nicely. I am a real estate auctioneer, an online real estate auctioneer. Um, my company name is Nicely Done Auctions and we are in Tennessee and Georgia. That being said, I am part of a nationwide group of auctioneers. So there, in our group we have one auctioneer and or one real estate broker in every state. Now it may be that the auctioneer is also a real estate broker, so we've got both of them on one hit. So we're in almost every state and we sell luxury properties, large tracts of land, fancy houses. This year, you know, I'm pushing to sell apartments and truck shops and big, heavy commercial or industrial tracts of land also. So I'm going into auctions, full-fledged this year, online auctions. That's where my heart and soul is going to be this year. I'll be glad to talk about houses. I'll be glad to talk about flipping, but my heart and soul is in real estate auctions online. So I'm going to be preaching on that all year, I'm sure. The first couple things that people ask me and the first couple things that I want to get clear from the beginning is that, and I want you all to ask me questions because I'm going to do a webinar on Friday morning on really digging deep into auctions and how to make money at auctions. Tonight I need to know from you some feedback. What do you think an auction is? What do you think it's like? Uh, there's a difference between online auctions and in-person auctions. And mostly the difference is that an online auction, we don't pitch a tent on a Saturday morning and put a hundred chairs out in the yard and serve hot dogs. I don't have to do that online because people are bidding from across the country. So it you know saves some of my overhead that way. Uh, something somebody asked me earlier is if you buy a property online or if you buy a property at auction, do you have to pay all cash? And my first answer was that no, you don't have to pay all cash. And that's true. You, you don't have to pay with cash. You do either need to pay with cash or with a mortgage. And on some of our big fancy auctions, we will require that you put a certain amount of money in an escrow account or that you bring a letter from the bank that says that you are good for up to a certain bid amount. And we do that so that we don't sell you the property knowing full and well that you could not get a mortgage for that or that it'll take you six months to get a mortgage for it or any other kind of issue. We try to get away from that in the very beginning. So some sort of cash, yes. At auction, we rarely, I don't, I don't know if I've ever seen an auction where they offer owner financing. That just doesn't 
That just doesn't happen. I'm not saying I won't try it this year. I'm just saying that you've heard me preach before, owner financing, owner financing, owner financing, and now I'm talking about auctions, and you need to have a mortgage when you come buy a horse farm from me. Or you need to be able to stroke a $500,000 check. Now, all of our auctions are not that big, but you can see our auctions right now at acre.bid, A-C-R-E dot B-I-D, like bid it up. Um, so you'll see that we've got some pretty nice stuff. We did 500 acres in Kentucky right before Christmas and closed it within 10 days because a good thing about auctions is that you try to get the title work done ahead of time. So if somebody does have cash, we can sell it. We can go to closing. I mean, pretty much as soon as we can get an appointment with the closing agent. So that's a good point about auctions. Um, okay. The next thing people ask, so that was cash. Do you have to have cash? You either have to have cash cash or you have to have quick cash in the form of a mortgage. You're already pre-approved and ready. Just need to finalize the details. People want to know, is it an absolute auction? Is it a bankruptcy auction? Is it a foreclosure auction? What is wrong with the property? Why is it up for auction? What do you mean, why is it up for auction? Why does it have to be a bankruptcy or a foreclosure or a absolute auction? That auctions have a bad connotation for those words being attached to them and that does not mean just because it says auction does not mean that it's got a bad story behind it. Auctions are a way to sell a property on a certain day at a certain time for the highest price that the market will bring right then and there. So let's use small math. If your house is, you're asking a hundred thousand, it's worth a hundred thousand, there's a good chance somebody will offer us a hundred thousand a week before, if that's what it's really worth. They may offer it to us the night before, if that's what it's really worth. They may offer it the day of the sale and that'll be fine. Auctions are how you're going to find out what the actual value of your property is. If you think it's worth 100 and it's only worth 60, you're going to find out at auction. You can pay an appraiser to do that, but title issue. The appraiser is going to give you what is sold in the last six months. And if you need an appraisal done in January, it may be in a different price than if it was in June. That being said, the auction could be different if it was in January instead of June. Uh, Corey just asked how much or what happens if there's a problem with a title. We can do a couple different things. We can charge the seller for the cost of it. We can extend the contract. Um, if it's something that you really want, we will work with you to make sure that it happens. We had a problem with an auction this year that it was a tax sale property and we had a problem with the title because tax sale properties have problems with titles. That's why they went through a tax sale. And we got it done the, within the 30 day time frame that we said we would get it done, but we were not able to do it in 10 because we had to fix the title. But we ended up with a clear title. It was good and we moved on. If you all have any other questions, just leave it in the little box there. And if you like what I say, give me some hearts uh, or share it with your followers. Okay, so they want to know what's wrong with it. What's wrong with the property? Can I steal it at your auction? How much money will you take at the auction? How much money can I make if I buy it at the auction? And all of those are questions that I can't answer. Auctions are designed to get out there to be marketed to find out how much I can get for this property. If it's worth a hundred and the market says it's worth a hundred, then we'll get a hundred for it. If it's out there for sale for six months for a hundred, it's probably not worth a hundred and that's probably why nobody has offered you anything on it. So auctions are just a way to sell. It does not have to be a bad situation. And I don't know why people think that they're going to steal a property at auction. If the house is worth 30, then it'll bring 30. And if that's a steal, then 
that's just based on your, you know, your view of what a good deal is. If the if the house is worth 1.2, it will bring 1.2. Um, what we do in my auctions, I'll list it in the local MLS too. So brokers will come by. They'll come by, they'll show people, and we may get our buyer from a broker because it was in the MLS. We may get another sale because that broker liked our system and they want to put something up also. Y'all see Abby there? Abby, you want to say hi? Okay. Sorry. She's moving around. She distracted me. Okay. The last thing that people want to ask at auction is how much are these people willing to lose? Which makes me think that's just another way of saying what's the bottom dollar that they will take. And if they're going to take $150,000 for a $150,000 house, then I'm going to tell you that I don't know what they're going to take. Because if, you know... If they want 150 and we get 140, they may take that. We may get to 150 and they may say, well, now it's worth 160. So I don't know. I don't know what people are going to say. Um, my auctions are reserved. They're not going to go up on me day of because I know if they want 150, that's fine. If we bring them 200, they're going to take that too, though. Okay? So. My auctions are reserved. You do not have to take an absolute auction with me. Um, absolute auctions, if you owe money on a property, you probably don't want an absolute auction because you can't guarantee that you're going to cover your mortgage, what you owe on the property. So that's what you want to find out when you go for an auction listing. If you put a reserve on it and you owe 150 you got to have 150 to clear your mortgage, but you don't care anything else about it, you know, making any money, then fine. We'll go with that too. Now, I have a couple questions that you should be asking when you call the auction house. How much are the taxes? Does the house run off gas heat? Is the stove gas? Is the, you know, what what kind of utilities are we running? What about the water? Are we on a septic system? Are we on a sewer? Are we on the city water? What what are those plans? It's the same questions that you would ask if you were just buying the house regularly. Uh, you can ask about the school zone, but as a realtor, I'm going to tell you that the school zones change. I can't promise that it's this school zone or that school zone because if they change school zones in you know, five or ten years, then you want to come back on me and say, Whitney told me that it was in this school zone. So, no. Nah. I don't, I don't do school zones. I'll tell you the address. You can look it up yourself. Uh, you'll want to know how long was the closing. Like I said, we can close, you know, as soon as we can get everything worked out with the title company, with the closing agent. We can close within 30 days. We may have a 90-day close. If I have a big warehouse, it may take 60, 45 to 60 days to get everything out of it. So that might be a 90-day close. But if I'm dealing with a big warehouse and industrial people, they will probably be more aware of that. Um, you'll want to know what the lot lines are, how big the yard is. You can ask about the cable and internet. I probably won't know that, though. So when you ask an auctioneer about a property, go at it like it was any other property that you would be buying. You need to know all the basics. The only thing is here that you don't know if, you know, if you think it's worth 150 and you're going to go to the auction and offer 150, then somebody else may be there and they may offer 160. So then you got to ask yourself, do you really want it? Is it really worth 150 or do they know something you don't know? And that's between you and the other bidders. As the auctioneer, that's not me. So. Those are the questions that people normally ask me. There's a lot of TV shows about auctions right now. To my knowledge, uh, Texas Flip and Move on the DIY network is the only one that does real estate auctions. Uh, you know, there's storage auctions, there's personal property auctions, there's all that kind of stuff. But I don't know of any that do real estate auctions. Um, and actually, the guy on DIY Texas Flippin' Move, Myers Jackson, is one of my partners, and he may be on here tonight. He's great. Um, I'll do a little recap in just a second. Oh, 
we have neighbors, the dog's going crazy. Okay, so if you have any questions, I'll do a little recap in a second. Do you have any questions that you think what what if you can't get into the house before the auction? We do a open house. We will do an open house either a week before or a day before. And we will have it long enough so that if you want to have an inspector come and check it out, then let me know that ahead of time and I can probably open up the house early to go ahead and get your inspector in. So, inspector. You can have the house inspected. You can have, you know, I may have the survey records and I may not. So that'll just depend on the property. Um, are there any other questions that you have or any other maybe misconceptions that I can help kind of steer you away from? Because auctions are a fabulous, fabulous, fabulous way to buy and to sell real estate because it's quick. You're in and out and done on a real estate auction. You know, I've done owner financing for three years and that usually takes a two or three year turnaround but if you don't have that time to recap that gain you can auction a property most auctioneers will probably ask for six weeks to properly market the property for you I've seen auctioneers do you know a week auction if there's some sort of bad circumstance or a family issue they could do a fast auction. I've got a buddy in South Carolina and he does fast auctions online. Online real estate auctions and he is fabulous at it. What other kind of questions do you have? I'll do a little quick recap. How did I get into auctioning? My family <laughs> drug me to it. Um, my buddy in South Carolina is Terry Howe. And when I was a kid my mom would drag me to auctions on Saturdays there is a family story. This is a good intro next time I do one of these. My grandmother, my grandmother's grandfather passed away and the family decided to auction the house and the contents. So my grandmother went to the auction and said, you know, she bought this and that and the other. So she came home and she was telling my grandfather what she bought. And she said, you know, I bought the lamp and I bought the mixer and I bought this and that and, you know, some little stuff. And then I bought the farm. He said, you know what? Yes, you had to be licensed. Um, sh and she said, yeah, I bought the farm. So, you know, his next question was, well, how much do I need to write a check for and who do I need to write it to? <laughs> so that's really, you know, 30 years before I was even born or thought about, my family was going to auctions and buying real estate. So that's, that's how I got started. And then my mom would drag me to auctions when I was a kid. And I can remember being at auctions in middle school thinking I was too cool to be there. And now I love them. I loved them then too. I just didn't realize it. Okay, licensed. Yes, to sell. How do you research? Okay. Yes, you have to be a licensed auctioneer. Most states east of the Mississippi River have requirements to be a licensed auctioneer and a licensed real estate broker to sell real estate at auction. I'm licensed for both, so we're cool there. Um, west of the Mississippi though, you don't have to be. You can just wake up one day and say, you know what, I'm an auctioneer and I'm going to auction on Friday. I think Wyoming and Colorado are like that. There are still professional auctioneers out there, but there are still also people that it's just unregulated. And I'm not really sure what's going on out there. All the states that I deal with on the East Coast, we're all licensed. We're all insurance, bonded firms, sign out on the board. We're all professionals. Okay, how do you do the research for the auctions? Your broker in Atlanta was the process to get licensed to be an auctioneer. Um, you can go to auctioneering school, serve an apprenticeship, pass the test, get your license. It's about a three-year process. Uh, and if you want to, you can email me info at WhitneyNicely.com and I will be glad to kind of give you some tips and tidbits about getting licensed. Okay, how do I find properties to auction? I find them 
The two I found this year were straight off blogs. So we, I'm in a group of auctioneers. There's at least one in every state. And we blog, we advertise, we're all over the internet saying, hey, we are doing online auctions. And that's where mine came from. One of mine came from a, a flipper buddy of mine. Hold on. One came from a flipper buddy of mine that he had finished flipping the house. Done. Hey, Whit, I'm done. Do you think you can sell it? And I said, yes, let me auction it. So we auctioned it. Um, now, while you're doing your apprenticeship in your three years, you can make money if you register um, auctions. It's going to depend on your auctioneer, but you can totally make commission off of a sale that you bring. You will have to serve some time and do some other stuff for them, but that's totally up to your principal auctioneer. Okay, researching houses. You would research a house for an auction just like you would research a house for any other purchase. Um, the auctioneers will probably have comparables posted. They should have the HO fee, HOA fees posted, any kind of regulations or zoning issues. You can find all of that out. There's a six-week marketing advertising I don't want to say minimum but I prefer six weeks so that you have plenty of time to find out about it to get your money squared away on it and to find out everything you need to know I don't want to do a pop-up one-week auction where you're kind of weird about what's going on no I don't want anybody to be weird come out check it out do whatever you need to do for the property um, I said earlier that We'll do an open house on the property. Oh, tax deed sales. Totally different. Sorry. Tax deed sales are totally different. Um, I'll do a whole different series on tax deed, tax deed sales. Um, my husband and I buy stuff at tax deed sales. It's fun. Those are not conducted by an auctioneer. Sometimes they are. In our counties in Tennessee, though, some county official attorney stands up there and mumbles. And that's how they do that. So it, but in New York, in New York State, I have buddies that they make a living off of doing the tax sales. They are the third-party vendor for the local county doing the tax sales. So it may just depend on where you are. You can pull a title search on an auction property. That's totally fine. And you can check the tax deed, make sure the taxes are paid up. You can call the auctioneer. If there's a problem with that, they'll probably have an answer or a plan. Okay, so quick recap. And hit me with the questions if you want to. Do you have to have cash to buy at auction? The answer is no. I do offer training and lease options. Yes, it's at WhitneyNicely.com. You do not need cash to buy at auction. If the property is fifteen thousand and you have fifteen thousand, you can pay fifteen thousand. But if you come to an auction and buy property and it's, you know, a million dollars, we're going to require some sort of proof that you can follow through on this purchase. Auctions are not necessarily bad. Okay, it does not have to be an absolute auction. It does not have to be a foreclosure. It does not have to be a bankruptcy. It could just be that somebody wants to have an auction, sell the property, and be done with it. They don't want to list it for six months. They just want to get it sold and get it gone. The other things people ask is, what's wrong with it? Can I steal it? Um, what's the bottom price you'll take? Where do you think the price is going to start? I, I can't. I can't ask. I can't answer those because your version of stealing it may be different than mine. Your bottom price may be different than the other people's, and I don't know what somebody else is going to bid on it. Somebody will ask, can I make any money, and how much money can I make? And I don't know that either, because it will depend on how much you want to put in it. It will depend on the plan. Do you want to lease option it? Do you want to own or finance it? Do you just want to rent it? I have no idea of knowing how much money you can make and when you can make it. That's totally up to you. Uh, I will tell you that our auctions usually have a 10% buyer's premium. So if you bid 100, your final bill is 110. 10% of 100 is 10. Okay? If you bid 150,000, your total bill is 150 plus 15, which is 165. 
That's different about auctions. Usually, if the house is 150, then you pay 150 and everything comes out of the middle. Auctions go on top. My auctions right now go on top. So, the last question people want to ask is how much are they willing to lose? I can't answer that either because I don't know. I, I assume nobody wants to lose any money. Hey, Carol, anytime they sell or move real estate, the goal is usually not to lose money. And if that's the goal, then I don't, I don't understand. So it doesn't have to be bad. It doesn't have to be bought with cash. It doesn't have to have a problem wrong with it. And since I open up the houses that you can, or properties or horse farms or whatever we're selling, you can have an inspector so you'll know more than I do, probably. And we usually do the uh, open houses a week ahead of time. Again, if you have an inspector that you want to come, tell me early. I'll open the house early for him. I'll be glad to help you on this process. So, also, a week ahead gives you gives the inspector enough time to give you a full report on it. And that's important so that you are a good, educated buyer. I want good, educated buyers on all of my auctions all the time. I want good, educated sellers on all of my auctions all the time. So, the questions that you should be asking are the same questions that you would ask on any other house or commercial piece of property or industrial landfill that you want to buy. You need to know what are the taxes and they're probably going to be posted on the website. You need to know is it run off gas or electric? Is it on the sewer or is it on the septic? You may want to ask the school zone. They're probably not going to tell you. You want to know how soon can we close? If you're offering cash, I can close as soon as the closing agent and the title company gets it done. If you need a mortgage or if it's a big warehouse, like I said, it may take 45 to 60 days to get everything out of it. Unless you want to buy the contents. We could probably work that up, but I don't, I don't like doing personal property. I only do real estate auctions. You need to know the HOA fees. You need to know the zoning ordinances. You need to know if it's changing zoning. That could be good. That could be bad. It depends on your plan. You need to know the lot lines, how big it is. And I think that's all the questions. Does anybody have any other questions? We've been talking for about 30 minutes, which is a lot longer than I planned on. Good questions, though, guys. You do have to be licensed to sell. To be an auctioneer, you have to be licensed in every state east of the Mississippi River. You do have to be a licensed real estate broker to sell real estate at auction. I got both licenses. I've got plenty of licenses. I got my last one in October when I got my marriage license. So don't worry about that. Totally cool. Totally good. If you want to see some of the properties that we're auctioning, I don't have any in Tennessee right now. Acre.bid, A-C-R-E dot B-I-D. Thanks, that was a joke. Acre.bid is where all of our properties go. And you'll see there that we had 500 acres in Kentucky in December. We've got, we've always got, I feel like, a 100 acre track in Georgia. We've got fancy horse farms. We've got, I hope this year, to auction some apartments. Uh, one of my buddies in Virginia has an apartment on auction right now, and I love that. It's like combining so many different things that I love into one little situation. Well, not little situation, it's a pretty big situation, but. If you have any other questions, email me info at WhitneyNicely.com. You can check out my website, WhitneyNicely.com. I am on Instagram, WhitneyBuysHouses.com. You usually pay 10%. I say usually at my auctions, you will put 10% down the day of. Okay? And that's why if it's a big piece, we will ask for money in escrow before the auction happens. And we will hold that money in escrow. It will be used towards your final bill, which is your bid plus your 10%. Um, that's really good. Money in escrow. Uh, but yes, you, you will need some cash day of, day before. Any other questions? Somebody asked about lease options. Love lease options. I love owner financing. I love real estate. Okay. 
Um, I've got information about lease options on my website, WhitneyNicely.com. I teach lease options, um, so you can catch some of my webinars on lease options if you want to. And if nobody has any other questions, I'm going to head out. Dinner time. Thanks, Carol. I'll see you on Tuesday still, right? Did you get my email? We'll talk about that later. Okay. Thanks, everybody. Have a good evening. I'm going to dinner now. I appreciate this, and I will see you. Oh, I'm doing a blab with Carol. I should say that. Tuesday at 8.30, blab. I'm at Whitby's Houses, and Friday I'm doing a blab with Samantha Gregory. Okay, good. Um, she's fantastic like Carol, but on a different kind of side. So, check us out. Oh, hey, Che. I just... You're here. You'll have to catch the replay, hon. We're, we're done here. I've talked all I can. I'm sorry. But it's good to see you, talk to you, <laughs> and we'll see everybody later. Bye.